When Samus sets out for Sector 3, the exam center explodes. Adam then if Wait, this is the same thing from last episode. Uh, I guess we haven't reached a new story beat in order to get some more story. Yeah, I mean, we're still kind of in Sector 2. We spent the whole time getting around to that one place and all that. It's just, just that's the okay. same thing. That, that, that's, we'll eventually fine. get there. It's fine. We'll we're eventually get there. We're getting there now. So, um, I think it's time that we need to start talking more positively about this game. I never thought this day would come. Hold on, let yeah. me check my pulse. Yeah, We're yeah. still alive. Well, uh, yes. Welcome back to Metroid Other M and all that, yada yada. But uh, I think we need to start uh, looking a bit more positively towards the game here. Okay. Like, I think we've got most of our frustrations out. Like, the game is what it is. Yeah. yeah that, that's the cards we're dealt with. That's how it is. There's good, there's bad. Whatever. Mm -hmm. No point in whining about that anymore. Okay. Uh, you know, Yoshio Sakamoto, you know, the writing, he did what he did, and yeah, I think we should probably give him a bit of a break, too, because I read an, I read that article saying that he wouldn't change anything in Metroid Other M, but that's not him saying, oh, yeah, it's perfect. It's him basically defending his work. Oh, okay. It was, it was him saying, it. you know, I, uh, Other M is basically how he wanted to depict Samus. Okay. It was, it was his vision, his idea, it was, it was what he wanted to do, it was his passion project that he used a lot of people and burnt a lot of bridges to make happen, because Nintendo ain't gonna trust him ever again. <laughs> okay, so... so but, uh, th that, 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 that interview, where he's defending himself, he says now he's cautious about how they're gonna depict Samus going forward. Interesting, so he knows that there is at least some backlash to it. And that article was dated 2017. Oh. Just before Samus returns. Oh. Because we can't forget that he is a he is a producer still on Dread and uh, and Samus Returns, so he still has a hand in things, but he doesn't have the reins. And when he has the reins, things fall apart. You ever heard about the, about uh, what I feel about Seth MacFarlane? Uh, I've I've heard bits and pieces, but uh, for the sake of this discussion, go ahead and lay it on me. So Seth MacFarlane is a very funny guy. Yeah, he is very very talented. He can write great jokes. He has a great, talented voice. Yeah, I yeah, I like what he, you know, I like some of his jokes. He's he's a talented guy. He's smart too, because he, he's he funded uh, Cosmos and he uh, understands that. Have you ever seen his movies? They're not the best. That's because he tries to do everything. He writes, directs, ah. produces, stars in. Okay. All of that. He does everything. I see what you're going for. I love that there. And I think that's what happened with Yoshio Sakamoto, because we're gonna get to points later on where he even forgets his own canon. Oh! Oops. Well, you can't exactly do that with a, uh, a story-driven, plot-driven uh, mm -hmm. game right here. Got an energy part down here, so that's good. Okay, so, you know, too many hats are, are being worn here. Right. Okay. So, right. I think we can calm down a little bit on, on some frustrations here and just have whatever fresh hells that occur going forward. <laughs> nice! So these things aren't too much of a problem anymore. I've, I've uh, discovered that when they turn ele ele you know, all, all electrified like that, yeah. you can just use your missile and take them out like that. Ooh, nice! The overdrive attack is also very helpful. I still mm -hmm. cannot stand this though this this was this is terrible and it's even worse by the fact that there's stuff i can lock onto back there that the game thinks i want to lock onto I but how about the enemy in front of me if it okay yeah okay. where's that positivity okay. there po po brother positivity positivity well he seems to be doing mostly jumping around and not really hurting me so much that's okay yeah that's uh, okay well is there there's no way to turn the sensitivity up for moving in first person is there I don't, I don't think that would help. Because it's like scrolling so slowly. Because we've seen motion control games where it's almost one to one. It's one of those terrible option screens where there is uh, nothing. Subtitles and I, I think uh, something else. Oh, hey, another. Yeah, it's like a stereo or mono or uh, do you want subtitles? That's the only two options. I beg your pardon, that was obnoxious. Oh, yeah. it's. Uh, I, I love when they span moves. Uh, He's like, oh, saw this space chick do it, I'm gonna do it too! In my research, I have found out that this is indeed a modified Ninja Gaiden game. Or nin a Ninja Gaiden engine. I'm trying to think, did Team Ninja do any games for the Wii? I don't believe so. Yeah, because Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge was for Wii U. And they probably wouldn't have been... So let's see, Wii U was 2012? 
Yeah. Uh, 2012, so this came out in 2010. So they might have had the engine on hand while they were working while they were working on Razor's Edge. Getting it primed and prepped for Nintendo consoles. Right. The Wii U was also supposed to be their big foray into third-party development. Right. At least, Which, at least yeah, for the first six months, you know. <laughs> flopped immediately. So, yeah, I guess they were working on Razor's Edge. Could have been. Uh, okay, I won't say they were. It would have been easy to port it, especially yeah. when they were kind of having problems with Ninja 3 in the first place because it was kind of crap. Anyway, well... <laughs> But, uh, yeah, Yoshio Sakamoto wanted to tell this Metroid story in the way that he wanted to, and, the, and to bring, develop Samus the way he wanted to, and he was given full reign, and I think, I think he had a lot of plates spinning, and it, he didn't have a lot of... didn't take criticism very well either. So basically we have an Empress Teresa on our hands. It, does, it doesn't help that uh, the head of uh, Team Ninja at the time, who, by the way, were going through a bit of a tumultuous phase in their, in their history, having just fired their drunken bum ass of a fucking <laughs> loser game developer, <laughs> Tomonobu Itagaki. So they got this new guy, and uh, you know, it's, anytime you have a young executive running a company that has some sort of history, especially in Japanese uh, business culture, that could be a little kind of shaky. So, of course, when Nintendo comes up and says, hey, you want to make a game together, you jump, you jump yes, right on yes, that. Yes, So whatever dumb idea Yoshio Sakamoto had had in mind, the head of Team Ninja was like, yes, we will do that. That will be done. Oh, that's... Man, that that's a lot of and the team's coincidental like, things showing up at the same time. And, and the team's just like, oh... Uh, yeah, um, right, yeah. We killed it, by the way. Good job. Right, cool. Okay, so... I, the bigger picture is being shown right now, and I understand a lot more. A lot of people blame Yoshio Sakamoto for a lot of things, and you can blame him for a lot of things, but... Not everything. There is a limit. He, like, people are saying that he was the one who said that the Prime games aren't canon. Never been said. It happens. Especially on the internet. All of a sudden, just random quotes that were never said become the highlight, and all of a sudden, a new person is hated that day. A lot of people were betrayed by this, because this wasn't the the Metro game they were expecting. And so, any any kind of plausible-sounding negativity would be good enough, and oh dear. Well, fine. Let's get back to some positives again. Maurice the is dead. <laughs> the plot is about to get so thick. Okay. We are going to get a plot as thick as... It, well, uh, something that's really thick. Hi. We got another dead soldier. And... Oh, no, the game wants us to look again. This one's easy, though. Just look at the lady right there. <gasps> no, jeez! Uh, she has a zoom function! Well, that sounds like one of the survivors that Adam's talking about. Let's go do that. There is a thing around here, though. I know there's... There's a... There's a Thing around here. There's one subplot I really want to get to because of all the positives I've heard from this game, you know, tons of negatives, but at least one positive. There was a subplot that somebody said, okay, this is really good stuff. And I can't wait to get to that because I want to see the credibility in that that goodness. Where this game does well story-wise, it's the overarching plot. But it's just how they develop Samus and Adam, especially, that it just falls flat. But what we're about to go through right here, I think we're gonna get to we're gonna get to some pretty good entry. I like it. I, th I think we're gonna do, we're gonna do okay. We're gonna we're gonna go find that lady. That might be that Madeline Bergman lady person that we need to go find. <laughs> I love how you were shooting in front of you, and I would love it if she just came around the corner. It's like, oh hi! Ah! Oh, oh 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 no! Oh my! Oh Survivor my no goodness! More. Oh dear! Oh dear! dear. Oh, dear. oh sorry! <laughs> Oh man, starts bawling. I, oh, oh, I was so childish. I was such a child. Was that a loading screen? Yeah, it happens. Man, yeah, I got I got a 2006 refurbished Wii running this thing in 2023. Give me well, a break. Well, I'm just trying to imagine what they were loading. It was, they were probably loading this. Yeah, they, they, we got a lot of cutscenes coming up. Oh, okay, okay. Then if it's a cutscene, that's a that's a loading screen that lasts like what two seconds on on Wii on Wii. That's perfect. That's fine. Yeah, that's a cutscene. On, on an old in. antiquated Wii from like. <laughs> Oh, you're not even playing this on Wii U? No, oh, I'm playing it on a Wii, man. Oh. Straight Wii. No, you don't understand. I'm here to rescue you. You're lying! I know the Galactic Federation wants to silence <sighs> everyone who knows about our work here. Ooh. Excuse me? Ooh. But, but we're the Galactic Federation. Yeah, we are. We're... What are, you, what, are you, what are you talking about? How can I trust you when your troops are willing <gasps> to kill each other? Oh! What? Oh, oh no! I guess we just know about that now, but okay. Oh, brain blast. So wait, 
There's a traitor? Ooh, okay. Away from me. Yep, intrigue through the roof right now. Huh. Adam, you getting this? <laughs> you getting on this, bro? Yeah, you getting this? Adam! All right, look, like, do I look like Galactic Federation people? It's kind of weird that you associate me as being Galactic Federation. I mean, do I look like those guys? Clearly, I am an interested third party and... Oh, wait, I get it. It's time for us to fight our own version of Metal Gear. Oh! Hurry! This way! Uh, Whoa! <laughs> I would love the slow-mo and she still gets hit by it. Ouch. Oh, well. Look at that. Aha! Get out of here! Well, looky there. The guy who offed Maurice is now up to off us. Bring it on. You can't take on this power suit. Another slow-mo shot. Whoa! Interesting choice. Ooh, okay. So, so those flippy things were Yoshi Sakamoto. I can believe that more now, cause I mean, come on, that's cool. That's that that's cool. That's cool. Oh, what a what a plot thread. I'm liking this. All right, kill the Metal Gear. It's pretty easy. Just do a whole <laughs> bunch of flipping. <laughs> I saw you. No, no. <laughs> Apparently, they they did away with power ups because a it's a Ninja Gaiden game, obviously, but also because Samus became too powerful with this flip. So to. Uh, to nerf her a bit, they took away the health and pickups. And interesting. I think it was also another Sakamoto movie because we, this is something that we wanted to do differently. It's like we or you. I would love it if Sakamoto just went to E3 and just gave the E3 talk, the, the spiel that you hear all the time. We thought we would add some humanity to Samus Aran. I am so glad that we are done with those kinds of press conferences now that E3's done. Okay, do you want to know the funniest thing? What's that? Microsoft had their show, uh -huh. and they had an introduction. They like, use the E3 voice! We're, we're past that now! I couldn't believe it! Like, like to me, it's mostly just one guy saying, Hey, check it out. We've got some new things. Here it is, and then... Yeah, Here's your it. new thing. And and uh, and the, 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 the E3 speak that I'm thinking of now is just, you know, uh, Hello, uh, I, I, I'm Emil, and this ah. is Chanteur, and we are from uh, Belgium, and for our new game, uh, uh, Small uh, Axolotl Hours... Uh, well, well, that's just any indie direct at this point. That's the kind of E3 to speak I'm into, because then they're honest, it's like, oh, we are so nervous right now, we hope that people don't crucify us online. Well, just, I'm, I'm glad we're please. getting to the, I mean, Microsoft's still stuck in the past, but they did the E3 talk, and then all of a sudden it was just trailer after trailer after trailer, so it was just the introduction. And then Phil Spencer came on stage. They didn't have, a, they didn't like rent out a car on, on the show floor, they didn't no, have but child they actors. still showed <laughs> car game! Fable's fun! <laughs> they still showed car game, I couldn't believe it. And then they showed <laughs> Cyberpunk and everything was okay, because Idris Elba's in it now. Well, people liked uh, car game. For Forza Horizon's good, people like car game. Ah. Right, well that takes care of that version of Metal Gear, let's see. Oh. I still see your health bar, this ain't over until it's over. Are you sure? I mean, yeah. whoa! Yeah! <laughs> oh, still going, it's going nuts now. This is a cutscene, I'm not controlling this. Oh, I know you're not controlling the Metal Gear, but... I mean, I'm not dodging either. Oh, that's true. See, I still like it, because you can tell something's about to happen because your health bar's still up there, so what could possibly be happening? You can't be safe until the health bar's gone, and now right, it's gone. Right, and now so... we're safe. Alright. Ah, oh, that son of a bitch. He escaped. I got out somehow. I mean, I was watching the whole Women time. I believe that the Galactic Federation was sent to the bottle ship to keep those in the know from leaking information. Okay, so if somebody's getting rid of no the survivors in this place, by they were making something bad, Federation but don't we already know that what's being made here is under Federation rule? Considering the well, most so basically, make bad thing for Federation, destroy all witnesses? You ever seen Die Hard 2? There was a traitor among us. Mm, uh, a long time ago. It's been a while. At the end, uh, the terrorists escape, basically, and hold out into, into, a, into, into a church. And they hire some, na some National Guard units uh, to, go, to go take them out. So they're all loading onto the truck. And, uh, you know, you got, got like a fresh face on there, like all the grizzled veterans. It's like, yeah, all right, great to be here. And like, first day, huh? It's like, yep. So you don't know, do you? Know what? And they stab him. Because they're actually part of that, of their guys. So I think what's going on here is that we've got people who don't want people to know what's going on in here, mm -hmm. so they're gonna make sure that everybody who comes here doesn't leave. Does that include us? And that's tied to the Galactic Federation. Ooh. See, I would like it if this was... If there's Those a secret background plot where we're going to get off. Or try to get off. By the way, Plasma Beam! Think about it, the bottle ship is a nightmare replica of Zeebs, and here comes Adam for some reason. I mean, yeah, it's the bottle cry, but... 
At this rate, Why is the bottle the crowd here, especially if this is some sort of evil nightmare research facility where they're making bioweapons? Possibly Metroids. <laughs> and you're telling me that one of these guys is actually a, like a Pinkerton unit here to off everybody or something? <laughs> they called Collect. Adam. So if Adam's still in the control room, actually, technically, he could still be in contact with Samus. We don't know where he is. Remotely. Yeah. He, I mean, as far as I know, he's still back at that place, but uh, we're going to call this guy the deleter from there's, now on. There's the subplot. The deleter subplot. The deleter is the one... That, okay, I'm intrigued now. So, all right. So what, let's let's buff away that top crusty layer of dog shit. Let's see what's underneath. So I think we still got a halfway decent sandwich here. Either way, I knew yeah, I had to take the pickles her. off of the sandwich and still be edible. She would be targeted again. And she wasn't the And this is reminiscent of Metroid Fusion's elevator scenes. I too. I, I would appreciate it if uh, this was more like this. But I think uh we should also be talking with Adam as well. I would figure he want to tell us something about what's happening here. Why is he silent? Adam! No! I mean, he mentioned the plasma beam, so that's good. He told us where to go next. And another dead guy. Oh no. Well. Oh, that ain't coming back. Somebody here is fucking serious. Oh my. Well. Mm. So, we've got monsters running around. We've got bioweapons going amok. We've got uh, the deleter. We've got the deleter basically cleaning up evidence that this anyone was ever here. Uh, something tells me us coming here wasn't just some terrible metaphor. I think it. I, I, don't, I don't think it was just a coincidence. What I think, a coincidence! I think. I think uh, someone knew what was happening and they called us here to stop it from happening. I. I can't wait to find out that they called us here just to try and kill us. Have uh, they not seen what we are capable of? So, all right, we got something. First of all, back here we got a missile. Very nice. Number uh, what is this? Thirty-three. 33. Actually, you know what? I would kind of love it if that was the thing that let Adam use our power bombs again. It's just like, okay, you found the deleter. Nuke that son of a bitch. So this is the way we're supposed to go, but we can't really go there yet because it's actually a dead end. Oh, really? Yep. Huh. They're giving you the roundabout here, but uh, someone with some uh, forward knowledge can help you out. Like so you? we have to do this section twice. The eye section? Yeah, we gotta do, like, this room we have to do twice. First of all, up here we got our 34th missile. How would you know to shine spark up there? Because we got a shine spark over there, too. Oh, okay. okay. So you think maybe even over here as well. And the map will also be shining a blue spot and be wondering why. That makes sense. Nothing to bomb, nothing to missile. Might as well go up. Oop. So, do we already have our plasma beam? No, we still just got the ice beam. Okay. We have the diffusion beam, though. Diffusion beam, okay. Because I saw Adam mention it, but I didn't see you actually get a new power-up. So maybe he's saving it for when we actually get there. We got the, we got the ice beam. That's about the, the biggest power-up. But it, it doesn't really help us here in the ice section, so... <laughs> Alright, shine sparking. A special thing we gotta do here. Go all the way to the end. And uh, I was a little bit too far away, but... Essentially, we're heading up there. Just swim in the air. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of air movement. Not much, though. I'd argue that it takes too long to bu to build up speed, but yeah, that's, I'm noticing that's, that but too. that's a very minor complaint. <clears throat> there we go, and it we does go look cool. Right in here. Neat little morph ball puzzle for y'all. Ooh, a puzzle. It's not really a puzzle. It's more like a room, but we got uh, it's enemies, so cool. and enemies, and electric floors, and yeah. fake holes. You don't want to fall down. Otherwise, you got to do all this over again. Oh dear lord. Like yeah, that that's one. fake. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so they're actually visible. It's not like, choose your path! And then you just fall through, and then you're just angry. This, is, the this is pay attention here. Don't get don't get uh, cornered by those things. They could probably knock you into them, too, if you're not careful. Does that just take you right back? No, it takes you to, to sec the second half. Oh, a brand new one. Oh, Oop, pardon me. Yep, right down here. Well, this is nice. Yeah, this ain't bad. I'm liking this. I have a feeling this is to load the next area on your way there, so maybe this just helps. Maybe a little bit. 
It's a nice little uh, time waster, you know, I don't mind uh, morph ball puzzles too much. This is okay, this is, this is prime worthy. Does it still feel okay with the D-pad running around with morph ball? It feels better in morph ball with the D-pad, okay. but I just would like that. Oh, it. hello! I'll take that E-tank though, that's uh, lovely, thank you. Yeah, yes thank please. Thank you, thank you. Thank you kindly. Oh. Uh, we only got two, uh, well, one more, one more E-tank to find. Huh. Wait, what? Everything else is in energy parts. Oh, full E-tanks, okay. Yes. I was about to say, oh, wow, only six. Plus your health bar. Alright, so in doing that, I guess we've we've uh, reached a room where the dead end happens, which is where that E-tank was. Uh. And that flips a flag or something in the game's uh, core system or whatever. Which means that, okay, it's time for a forced encounter. Oh. Well, this ain't good. Uh, I guess I'm just fucked. But they... they... Oh! Shooting through it? Uh-huh. Is that diffusion? Nope, that, that's not diffusion. Is diffusion that... is, just what, is just when I charge up and explode. Is that plasma? It's, it's, uh, nasty, whatever it is. Well, I don't like it. I wish we could do something about this. Any, any word, Adam? Hey, Adam, you seeing this? Samus, you need a permeating... <gasps> Yay! Yeah! Fucking wave beam! I think part of the problem is that this game takes place too too far in the Metroid timeline. She's done too much to be this amateurish. Come on! I mean, this is a fun way to show you what the wave beam can do. This is an almost perfect way to show you what the wave beam can do. Sakamoto's other thing is that he wanted to make a Metroid that anybody could play. <laughs> How how funny that is when we, we look back on this uh -huh. and see the, the 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 sales on this game. Mm -hmm. Unfortunate. A Metroid anybody could play. This is one of the most difficult Metroids to play. Yeah. I could I could hand you a you know I could, I could give give you a a brain aneurysm and so you're in the hospital for ten years. Let me come back and uh, I I have you play Dread. Anybody could play Dread. Hmm? I probably could have just said that, but. Well, guess what? I made a game that everybody can play. Here you go. Battle Kid in the Fortress of Peril. Enjoy your game. Everybody can play it. I mean, nobody can be good yeah, at it. <laughs> I made a game that's playable. Oh, cool. Press start. There. All right, never mind. Don't like those kinds of games. They don't interest me. What? Super difficult old school platformers? Like v, 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 V is about as hard as I'll go. That's not a hard game. I mean, it's it's confusing sometimes. Oh, it can be hard. It can be. Vinny Vidi Vici, anybody? Hell yeah, easy, easy every time. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. No, oh, I've <laughs> I've played it. I've beaten it. I've gotten oh, you, Vinny Vidi Vici. Oh, you have. Good. Yeah. Well, good for you. Yeah. For those not in the know, I just I just want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the hardest challenge in the game. But but for something so simple, it's just a, a little nub on one uh, on on uh, on one platform. And you have to go through, like, seven screens, back and forth, in order to get over it. It's a memory puzzle. <laughs> How much do you know the, lay the layout of the area that's you're a, going into? It's a reflex puzzle, too. That, too. Memory flex. And then your brain shows up with, like, anchor arms or something like that. Ow! Uh, Ow! Ooh! Oh, it doesn't go that way! Just lost memories of my family. <laughs> Thanks for the brain flex, brain. I remember in The Simpsons, Bart's learning Spanish because they're going to Brazil. But Bart, they don't speak Spanish in Brazil, they speak Portuguese. It's like, oh, I guess I better forget it, and he starts hitting himself in the head. It's like, no, wait, you don't have to! <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> Alright, all gone. <laughs> I'm just thinking of another brain joke. So we need to do that second time again. To oh, okay, shoot okay. a wave beam, to shoot that thing, to bring this down here to help us move forward. Move that forward, that okay. was the dead end. Gotcha. It's just, uh... <laughs> Homer listening to Ned Flanders, his brain just goes. Avalanche, by the way. You don't need me. I'm out of here. And then his brain just leaves, and then he just kind of just stands for a second. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Avalanche, gather. Shine spark. Right, we got it. Shine spark. Shine spark. You just get up speed, and then. Uh, that was fucking cool. Don't worry, you can still go back in that room. That is fucking cool. Like nothing happened, it's it's fine. It's just gone. It, it's fine. I read somewhere in the comments that there is an actual soft lock in this game. Yeah. You can actually is. ruin the point of no return. 
Which leads me to believe that uh, Nintendo going, finally embracing the internet during the Wii U era, I think Skyward Sword and this having game-breaking bugs that needed patches. That's when they finally went, okay, it's time to embrace the internet so we can give patches to people. I'm glad they did. Ah, cheeky yeah. little thing. Yeah, you gotta, cheeky little bastard. Yeah, freeze up there so it can hold. Oh. No, no other one will uh, fall like that. Just that one. Just to show you that you can freeze platforms. Just that. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, jeez. Right, this one might be a little confusing, but I, but uh, you feel like a natural instinct to kind of jump inward like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not how it works. What? You will apparently be fine if you just jump straight left. Oh. Or straight right. Hmm. It, it, apparently, it it compensates for it, so you're good. Oh, oh really? Oh. It yep. compensates. See, if I if I go back too far, I, I don't make the distance, and I just end up going back there. But if I just jump, jump right, there you go. Huh, it must, like, Jump nudge up. you. There you go. Oh, that's neat. I think it's because it's jutting out, and apparently that, that yeah. counts for a lot. Alright, so there's one more. The one up top, of course. Of course. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Uh -huh. At least you're not falling all the way down. That would be ruthless. That would be awful. Hi, guys! Hey! Uh, you guys allergic to wave beam? You, you guys can fuck off. Peace! Bye. <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting to the point where if we don't need to fight them, we won't. Because yeah. there's, there's no point. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. There's no point. That makes sense. I mean, you can do that in every other Metroid. You don't have to kill everything you, that respawns in a room. Well, here there really is no point. They, they, they don't give me anything. Oh my god, is that a long hallway to Shine Spark? Nope, that is where we needed this. Uh, oh. I mean, we could make it up there no problem, but that looks kind of, like, deep and dangerous, yeah. and I feel like this thing could come back and, like, flatten us if we're not careful, so this is probably the safest spot. Uh, time to fight the Queen Leech. Yeah. Bring it on. This is a safe ride to the top of the... Wait a minute, I play games with elevators. Mm -hmm. That must mean... Oh, I knew it! Hi, guys! Oh, I knew it! What's up? What's up? So, guys, so the cool thing is that we have a uh, beam stacking in this game. Oh, ice wave and we, diffusion? We have an ice wave diffusion beam. Holy shit, that's we still awesome. Have, we still have the permeating power of the wave beam, but we also have the freezing power of the ice beam. Oh, my God. We still have God. The, the spread of the diffusion beam. Hey Adam, uh, you wanna you wanna approve more things? That'd be nice. Hi Samus, we have authorized the Armageddon beam. <laughs> oh, I left that at home. Damn it! We have authorized the use of super missiles. Oh, finally! I can't wait for that. Are there super missiles in this game? Yes. Okay, good. You know, Adam, I have ultra missiles now. Absolutely not. <laughs> It costs five super missiles. You ever heard of a mini nuke, Adam? <laughs> I am authorized authorizing the use of mini oh. nuke. This is gonna be a nasty beast for a little yeah, while. Yeah, especially this thing. This is a Radogian. What on earth? It's it shoots a, rockets. It's a Radogian. I don't know what the hell they're working on this bottle ship, but you know, I, I think Umbrella moved to the space program here. Dead memes. Much beam. Extra excite. Shoot to whoop is a dead meme. <laughs> I'm a firing my laser. Oh my god, it is made of dead memes. Oh my god. Oh my see god. right there? That's Goatsy. It's made of memes. Yeah, right in the face. Oh no. This is right in the face. Oh, yeah, up close and personal. Oh, alright. I'm not dealing with that. Later. No. Yeah, he'll be back. Hey, Adam, did you get that? You Adam? Adam? <laughs> That's a good one, Anthony. <laughs> Adam? Uh, what'd you say? Nothing. I just hope you're having a good day. Oh, I am. All right, bye. Don't call again. All right, this one you gotta do here is, uh, is a Ooh. place to... Oh, yeah. There's a hole right over there. So, does Adam know about the deleter yet? Well, he says that he can see everything that my visors can see. He's, he's, he's hooked up to us, apparently, so he can see all that. You know what? I would kind of love if Samus had the ability to turn her mic off <laughs> so that he couldn't hear it. Oh, God. Samus, why can't I hear anything? Did you go deaf? S S Samus? I could tell by the way he was screaming in the mic that he was upset I wasn't listening to him. Yeah, shoot, do have to shoot a wave beam over there to open this little that hatch. That is a cool puzzle. 
Wow, that was smart. Yeah, so that's not bad. We, we got some neat puzzles in here. We got some yeah. cool morph ball rooms, you know. There's there's good stuff here still. And we also got our good set pieces. Oh I my mean, god. You're in space. You gotta do something like this. this oh, this that is, cool. is so cool. It's a long loading screen, but man, does it look does it ever look cool? Oh, that's so pretty. If only it takes us somewhere convenient. Yeah. Ding ding. Oh hey! Looky there. It's the elevator that takes us to the main sector. Nice! How handy. Gotta love it when things come together like that. Still has that feel. That's bound for the main sector. Are you the deleter? No, I'm the controller. Maybe I'll just ask everyone if they're the deleter. No, I'm the altar. I'm the Nino, the Pinto, the Santa Maria. I'm the escaper. I'm the tilderer. I'm the tabber. I'm the up arrower. I'm the shifter. Ooh, the shifter is actually kind of cool. I'm the inserter. <laughs> oh no! I'm the spacer. <laughs> I'm the backspacer. I'm the homer. I'm the ender. I'm the windows. -er. I'm the print screener. <laughs> I'm the F water. <laughs> I'm the windows keyer. I'm the clover keyer. Those two always fight. Always. All right, we got a locked door over there in sector three. I'm the Homer. Yeah, I know you already said that, but I just wanted to hear it in Homer Simpson esque. So, all right, we found survivors in Sector 2. Now we're going to head over to Sector 3 to see what's going on. After showing off a little bit, look at you killing monsters yeah, with the best but of again, them. Again, we don't, we don't need to, we don't need to worry them. about them. They're just, they're just hanging out. Yeah. He says as he destroys another one. Well, that one was coming for me, so. <laughs> he had it coming. He, he, he did have it coming. He, he did have it coming. Just like Adam Malkovich when we tell him about the deleter. I do love this wave beam, though. It's, it's nice, it's quick, it's... Yes, yeah, good and good and shooty. You're shooting masses of DNA at things. That's why all of a sudden he has an ice for foot. I'm glad that the that they still have beam stacking. That's very nice. Very cumbersome to have to ship things on and off. Right, get me out of here, get me out of here, get me out of here. Ooh! Yeah! That was cool. Well, alright. How about do it for today? Next time on uh, Metroid Other M. We're gonna be looking more into sector sector three. Yeah, sector three here. There's uh, there's some bad stuff going here, that's for sure. But really, I think I want to hang with my friends down here. Just gonna hang out with them for a while because you know, t it, today was pretty good. We had we had a few gripes here and there, but uh, I, I think for the most part, this was a net positive episode. You know, well, I want to hang out with my friends and get bodied the entire time. <laughs> you know, we uh, d d we you know, shed Yoshio Sakamoto in a better light. You know, we get to get had some interesting puzzles and some good set pieces. Everything went everything went great, but I I feel like there's there's one thing we're missing. One thing that we forgot about. We should probably mention. Uh. I don't know, because we, we kind of covered every positive meme, yeah, every positive thing, right? Hmm? Oh! Right! The story's dog shit! Oh, man. Uh.